Yeah, right, right, Jace. I thought we'd meet at the beach today. It means uh, the sun has been out here in Wales, so um, I just thought I'd step down to the bottom of the garden and step into my fish pond. <laughs> yes, get out alive. So, how's your painting been going on? Yeah, the uh, masterpiece is coming on strong. I have to say, strong. I'm getting in my own head and telling myself it's going well. <laughs> and uh, no, it is going well. How about you? How's yours going? Well, I'm 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 well into f oh, at least seven hours, believe it or not, in, into actual. Uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> into actual painting it now. So and I, and I, and I've been asked a few questions, saying I'm just wasting my time doing glazes rather than just going in alla prima and painting it one off. Mm, um, yeah. I, you can do it that way. Um, personally, um, I, I I like doing it my way because I get I I get a better effect. It looks more like oil paints rather than yeah. just somebody's just been splatting acrylic on there. Well, I'm going to be doing glazing near the end as well. So, because uh, there's certain colours I found when I'm mixing, just need tinting slightly, and uh, so a bit of a thin bit of paint. I'll sort that out near the end, hopefully. <laughs> so you can glaze with water mixable oils, and that's that's good to know, actually. Yeah. You've got to uh, use some a lot of linseed oil to get your really thin colours and then uh, glaze away. I was in the range the other day and I was looking at um, the range of stuff. <laughs> 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 and uh, I seen there was a lot of additives there for the water mixable oils. Um, I, and I didn't know you could buy all this type of stuff to actually put in with them besides from water, you know. Yeah, I've got the uh, thickening gel and uh, I didn't... Well, I did know that there was a thinner, but I uh, forgot about it. <laughs> and someone said if you use the thinner that goes, goes with it, it doesn't milk your colours up. So you don't use oh, water right. it's a bit okay. flat instead. And I, I didn't realise about that. I forgot. <laughs> so you can use water if you want to be cheap. But yeah. if, you, if, if, <laughs> if, if, if you're using water mixable oils, I recommend you use a water mixable oil mediums. So you're no better off, really, are you? <laughs> No, <laughs> but you, you're not using anything that's uh, harmful through the air. Juice so going off to your tea. All their, um, <laughs> yeah, all, all the uh, mediums that go with the warm mixable oils, as far as I know, don't have any um, toxic toxicness and that you can breathe in. So yeah, that's that's why I stopped using uh, oils actually, uh, because I had dermatitis and everything. My, it, it was affecting. Yeah. Uh, affecting my hands, um, I tried poppy seed, I tried walnut oil, I tried everything besides. But it's, it was still, it was still the oil, actually, whatever they were using in the mix, the paints, you know, the the binder. Um, yeah. was, that, that was was affecting my hands rather than what I was adding to it. So um, I opted to go to acrylics. Yeah. Um, how how long was that uh, ago? Four, four years now. Four years must be over four years. Yeah, uh, and I still haven't mastered them really, <laughs> and uh, I don't suppose anybody will ever master anything until they've actually left this planet and said, "Yes, <laughs> I, I've done it." Yes, yeah, so too late now. <laughs> yeah. well, we're still learning, aren't we? Always going to be learning, learning. <laughs> well, thanks to you, um, over the last couple of years since we've been talking, um, and. You know, you frightened me with the first ever challenge, uh, <laughs> which was the trees and the road, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I, I remind people to actually check check the iCards um, for that particular lesson. Go into collaborators because um, so, we were doing it with Brandon and um, Larry as well then, wasn't we? Yeah. So um, and it was only the time difference really. This this because we want to start doing more chats like this now because um, there's only the time difference really that um, has caused it problems. And um, and Brandon went walkabout <laughs> for yeah. a while, so I hope he's all right. I hope if you're listening, Brandon, I hope you're doing all right. We haven't heard from you for a while, and um, so um, yeah, and you know, it's thanks to those challenges really that um, I started to to do landscapes because I hated landscapes, absolutely hated them, and uh, being colour blind with green, it doesn't help trying to paint green. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So um, I've actually got a question from our last chat. If you don't mind answering a question. Hey, yes, go for it. Yes, go. Yes, I, I like I like uh, like questions. So 
an aeroplane. Yeah, I think it's just the 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 airport's all far away, so I think they just <laughs> it's just a flight over. So, it's Cardiff Airport's just over the road there. <laughs> but it was an aeroplane anyway. I might go for a swim in a minute. <laughs> so uh, yeah, looking at the uh, comments on the last. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Got your beach towel. Got my beach towel ready. <laughs> yeah, the like the. Uh, we had some good comments on the last uh, chat. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. And uh, I asked for questions, potential questions. And I have one here, which I thought was a good one. Uh, I'm not very good at pronouncing names, so apologies to this person. Um, but it's, it says his name's uh, Willem Jonk, possibly. Well, let's go with Willem. <laughs> Will I am, okay. Is I have a personal question, if I may ask. Oh. Are you full-time artist or do you have day jobs? Uh, why I'm asking, I'm an artist myself, but like most artists, I have a day job to survive. It's hard to find time for art when you work eight to five. How do you handle the battle? Right, I'm going to let you answer that one first. Okay. Well, um, I have a job. Uh, I work in a supermarket <laughs> putting out fruits and vegetables early in the morning and uh and and yeah it's hard work and you're knackered and then you get home and you know you want to paint <laughs> and uh i think it is difficult to keep uh, the motivation going but if you enjoy it uh, like i do i really enjoy it and I'm sure you really enjoy it as well. Yeah, I ask you. Let me add add to that question. Do you find it now before making videos and lessons for YouTube, and then you were just painting for yourself? Mm -hmm. do, do you find it the same, or do you find it harder now because you've got to keep making lessons and finding more time? Yeah, so that's kind of where the diary is working um, because before. I was thinking of episodes, like you say, the pressure of thinking I need to make a new episode for YouTube, but also I want to do, uh, I need to get a, a commission of a, a dog portrait or a, uh, a person portrait done, but I'm not going to be able to get that done in the time when I need to do a YouTube episode as well, and I need to go to work as well. How do you fit it all in? Uh, it's really difficult, and... Uh, the reason I like doing this, what we're doing now, um, well, I've been focusing on um, just the master painting because I'm painting because I'm enjoying it and I'm getting a video for YouTube out of it as well. So it's kind of a double hit. It's good for me and good for, um, hopefully, <laughs> good for your viewers to see how a bigger project goes. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that's good, and I think, I, I think the diary is actually showing people that, you know, we don't just paint pretty pictures or quick paintings. You know, some, some of these projects can take us <clears throat> months. You know, in this case, weeks. Um, it all depends on many hours you put into it. Now, to answer your question uh, for myself, I'm self-employed. Um, I've got a small window cleaning business, um, and my son works for me. Um, so normally in the summertime, I'm, I'm struggling to find the hours. Um, but I don't work as many hours as I used to now uh, for health reasons. But uh, even that, I've still got a house to run and grandchildren to look after and, and all that type of stuff. But um, like this week particularly, um, it's rained for three days, solid uh, in, in Wales. So uh, I can't work. <laughs> so <laughs> what do I do if I don't work? I make videos, you know, and I do some projects. I've got, I've got projects on the same as you, Jason. And um, the diaries were helping me because sometimes I can just come in in an evening when the wife is watching Coronation Street and Emma Dale Farm and that. I, I can come in for an hour every night, just switch a camera on and just paint and enjoy the painting process. And narrate afterwards, that's what I've taken from you of watching your videos. Is I like the idea of narrating it because you're still getting your point across and you can talk a, a little bit more about other subjects as well. Yeah, it's um, actually uh, gave me an idea. If I'm filming it that way, it's gave me an idea to do more stuff. And uh, I, I keep eyeballing my uh, box of marker pens and pencil grains. And I'm thinking, 
I could do diary episodes doing like pictures that take a few hours. Yeah. And do it in the same way. Yeah. Because I don't like these speed videos. There's nothing wrong with them, personally. No. But um, I think that as a beginner, when I was watching YouTube, um, before I even had a channel, uh, you know, I couldn't get enough out of it. You know, there wasn't enough. You could see people doing something, but some of it was sped up so fast. Other, other ones had annoying music on it. And don't get me wrong, I've got videos with annoying music on. I thought it was a good idea. And then I'm watching them back and thinking, no, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but they're up there, that's it. Um, you know, and I thought, no, I, I want to... I, that's why I started making videos. I started making videos to teach my students when I had an art, art group. And it just went on from there. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, you know, I wish I had the knowledge base that is coming off your channel. Not just my channel, but just on your channel. I wish I had that knowledge base years ago uh, to be able to grow as an artist. Um, but how many artists do you know that haven't got a day job? Yeah. Most most people, and they, you know, very and very, you're gonna be very lucky to be a professional artist and actually earn a living from it. Um, so don't yeah. give up your dream, but just try and um, work in between. Yeah. That's all I, I can I say. Think, yeah, that that's what I was just gonna say actually. Uh, uh, you just need to keep motivated and keep painting. If that's what you want to do, then just do it. And maybe just give yourself an hour. If if you've done a nine to five job, <coughs> uh, an hour of painting in, or even get a sketchbook, and <coughs> do little sketches because that's going to help your art as well. Yeah, these uh, mosquitoes are coming on. I mean. <laughs> It's better to do. It's better. To... Seagulls around there. <laughs> That's why I got my hat on. <laughs> it's better to do a, a quality an hours of quality painting than two days of just sitting there and scratching your head and beating yourself <laughs> up. <laughs> because many beginners, many beginners, don't know what you think, but many beginning artists, um, they worry too much about the content and the quality and and all that rather than. You know, concentrating on what they're doing. You know, don't worry if you make mistakes. Don't worry if it looks terrible. Just get some paint on that canvas. Get used to using the medium you're using. Get, and I, I know out of experience when using water mixable oils. That's why I give them to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a, it's like you keep just paint. It doesn't matter what you paint. It doesn't matter what I, you paint. Just paint. You will I, get better. Yeah, I struggle with acrylics when I go because I'm always using the water mixable oils with the paintings and then I use acrylics on it throws me a bit and I'm like whoa this feels different and it doesn't work the same I can't manipulate the paint in the same way and your medium helps me a lot actually your uh, thickening gel and when oh, I was you've doing... been using it good 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 yeah because uh, I really struggled with um, I don't know everything <laughs> Yeah, the, the the first thing I, I, I want to suggest to you is first of all, gesso your canvas. It's bloody <laughs> important because you're, you're you're an oil painter. You're used to just going in, whapping with, with the oil paint. The oil paint goes in, it seals the surface up. It's, it's, there's there's linseed in there. You're flowing lovely. Um, what you've got to remember with there's a difference between major difference between acrylics and oils. Uh, 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 oils oxidize. That's how they dry. They oxidize in the oxygen. They don't evaporate. They go they they go sticky and then they, they and then they go crispy basically. Whereas acrylics, um, uh, uh, I would say about sixty percent of acrylics is water, so it, it it evaporates. Then you've got the binder, which is a polymer resin, so it evaporates. And if 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 it's if you haven't got gesso, if you haven't got something to grab onto, you, you you're struggling with blending and all that. So anybody that paints with acrylics, please 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 gesso your canvases. Don't rely on shopboard canvases or canvases that say they've got a, a coating on them. It's not gesso. I proved that to you, Jason, because you read the back of your canvas panel and you went, it's gessoed. I said, read the back of it. <laughs> what did it say? Uh, I feel like I've been told off. I'm a naughty <laughs> schoolboy. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? It said it's had a priming coat. It is not yeah. gesso at all. Yeah, so, I'm sorry. No, but it, it, this is it. People, I've had, I've had it. I've had people, they're struggling with acrylics. I can't do this. I can't. They're, they're, they're one, of the, one of the easiest paints to use, but you just need to know how to use them. 
it's I think uh, it, not so much that with me it's the way um I don't know it's just different <laughs> I think um I think personally you might be better off with um a thicker uh, acrylic paint because you said you like using that thickening agent that I give yeah. you well I think I'll just use that actually if I... a heavy body if you've got a heavy body paint um then you might find this a lot easier to use um and, tr and try using some um matte medium or something with it rather than water I just done a video actually on on on, on acrylic paint talking about the dangers of using water um it's it's the same with oils of water mixable oils as imagine if you put too much water with it it's just going to go awful you know it's water mixable it doesn't you can it's not meant to be thinned over thinned with with water um but it's kind of weird uh, the water mixable oils because i remember when i first bought a uh, a single tube and i the idea of using it originally was that i could do a uh, a thin layer of my sketch and then i'd use traditional oils to paint yeah. on it because i was wanting to avoid using like a paint thinner or something right I, I, <laughs> i'm just gonna go and have a swim a minute so um i, I will le i'll leave you talk about that uh and i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll see you in a bit <laughs> see you in a bit <laughs> okay enjoy your dip well, while uh Clive's head off there <laughs> for a swim. Maybe we'll see him. Maybe he'll pop up. Um, but I'm feeling a bit lonely now, so I could do it. Oh, he's back. Oh, that was lovely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I had to cool off, Jason. I had, a, I had to cool off then. <laughs> oh. it, was a bit, it was getting a bit hot out there for me. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't hear a word you said because I had my headphones off. <laughs> oh, go on it. <laughs> He's lost the plot. <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say now. Are you throwing me there? Going off for a swim? This <laughs> chat. <laughs> I just tipped some water over my head. <laughs> Next time I'm going to sit in a jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> so. Anyway, I don't know what we are. I don't know what the hell we were talking about then, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so Susanna, she's a lovely girl. I seen. Uh, I see Susanna. She's uh, she, she's coming on really nice. I'm uh, impressed yeah. with the way you're actually doing it, actually. Yeah. But I, I can see the difference in 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 the way you're doing that, and I can see you're enjoying it uh, mm. a lot more um, yeah. than you I have am. been lately. I am really enjoying it, and uh, it's because it's really hard. And I'm just going to get my hat in it. My head is burning. Look, I go and ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's off again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was going to go for another swim. No, I'm not going for a swim. It's a bit warm <laughs> out there. <laughs> no, I, see, I, I, I can see that you were actually enjoying it, you know. Mm. Um, yeah. I am really enjoying it. It's really challenging and uh, it's really testing me. Uh, but that's why I like it and I need to do more. Uh, but I, I do really enjoy the pre-colour challenges as well because uh, I learn a lot about colour doing them. And it's helped me doing this amazingly. And I, I didn't think it would, but it has. Just reminded me of a question. Um... Somebody said that um, you shouldn't use black in painting. <laughs> and um, what's your what's your actual take on that, Jess? Do you do you use black a lot in your painting? I think uh, I don't know where the idea of not using black came from, but I've heard it many a time, and I think it's a load of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, because certain painters like um, Degas, he'll say it's the prince of all colours, where uh, someone else will say, oh, I never use black. Another master, oh, I won't use black. I always mix my blacks with blues and browns or whatever. Where another master painter will use big blocks of black. That's right. So, uh, for me, uh, it doesn't matter. 
I I use um, I don't use pure black. I don't like use. I, I very rarely use a carbon black or a lamp black or something like that. I'm using carbon black in in this particular painting because that's what Thomas Gainsborough used carbon black. Ah, right. And I have found it. Uh, I've got used to using it, and um, I think it's 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 a nice black to use actually in this context of this painting. Um, where, but normally I'll, 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 I'll use a Mars black, but I'll add blue to it, or I'll add a little bit of um, dioxazine purple to it, it depends on, on my shadows. I'll never use a straight black, I always use a, a, like a cool black then. Um, yeah. But that's my own personal preference, you know. Um, when, when I was researching Gainsborough, I thought, oh, carbon black, I don't really, it's like me saying to you, oh, I don't like painting trees. But when, mm -hmm. when you get used to doing it, when you get used to painting trees and stuff and, and using blacks and you're thinking, yeah, and then you can't live without it. <laughs> it's, well, so yeah. it's, it's sneaked I mean, this way in my palette now. <laughs> the thing is, what if uh, a master painter said, oh, you should never use burnt, burnt sienna, never use burnt sienna. That's it. I, I mean, <laughs> I can't see any difference between someone saying don't use burnt sienna uh, or don't use black. Well, the argument is that there's no actually there's there's no such thing as true black in nature. That's what they that's the argument come from, mm. and shadows aren't black. Shadows are are, are just um, dark colours of whatever that particular tree that mm. the pine tree behind you now is is casting down. You know, it, it it it's not black. It's a shadow at the end of the day. Um, but it's the same as highlights, isn't it? You know, is white white. Or is white carrying your T-shirt is white, but it doesn't look white. It looks blue because you've, you've got the light of the screen coming off it. It's uh, it's a light, it is light blue, though. Is it? Oh, are you? Where are they? <laughs> I know it's white. <laughs> but, you know, when I was painting a cat the other week and um, they said, oh, can you pa how do you paint white? Well, you yeah. don't. You just paint the fur. Well, I, I... use like a blue. I, I always go like a bluey colour and a uh, cool, cool colour. And then I build up the, the strengths of white then yeah that's funny you're saying painting a cat i was painting a cat as well but it kept moving and i was like come here <laughs> 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 and i was like grabbing it doing a little bit more we should have we should have got a barbecue mate <laughs> <laughs> had another shrimp on the barbie get another shrimp on the barbie mate <laughs> so bonza die here in uh <laughs> in, in bonza beach <laughs> My mouth's drier than a... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as far as the painting is concerned, mm. I, 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 I've learned a lot. A lot of research. I've done a lot of research on it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Have you, have you done any research on yours? Or do you, do you know Rubens yeah. pretty well? I've done research on Rubens. Uh, I was looking for a lot of his paintings. I haven't really done any in-depth research, to be honest, on his use of colours, because um, obviously a lot of their colours they used, we can't get anyway. Well, I think we can get them, but we'd have to probably make them, e.g. Um, adding in lead and stuff. You want to do things like that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to use lead white. I don't want to use mercury and uh, uh, <laughs> arsenics and everything. All the, all that yeah. other nasty stuff they used to put it yeah. into. Yeah, I don't want to use any of those pigments. But no, I, I've looked at a lot of his paintings, and and there was one thing that I was amazed about. There was a lot of that. Um, since Susanna, she's got like the red on the uh, shoulder, and 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 a lot of the paintings that he's done have got that red, that red material. And I thought, ah, that appears quite a lot in his paintings. Is that no. because that's the only colour he had left? <laughs> he was just trying to use it up. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because red is like the the go-to colour for the first colour you look at. In a painting, you look straight at the red. And they then you'll... reckon, and uh, I called Bob Ross on this particular one, um, and he said in one of his videos i seen years and years ago, and it always stuck in my mind, is that... Um, red will always sell a painting so if you're doing landscape put a couple of little red flowers in or something it always red draws the eye yeah it draws it the eye um and and you'll notice that in sales whenever they 
put clearance. The clearance is always red with white writing. <laughs> and 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 money off is normally like green, because green is 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 is. Is is yes, yeah, cool. It's ready. It's like traffic lights, isn't it? It's, yes, go, go and get it. You know, it's, yeah. green, green is a good color uh, uh, in that respect. Um, but um, I completely forgotten what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said you're losing your hair, Clive. I said, yeah, it's all coming out of my chin. <laughs> Again, at that age now, I'm losing, I'm losing hair on my head, but it's coming out of my chin. <laughs> I have to walk around with my. I have to walk around with my hands. I think. <laughs> well, as long as it's not coming out your nose. <laughs> you wait. You wait till we get to my age, and I'll talk to you then. <laughs> yeah, but I noticed in a lot of Rubens' paintings, he's got the red material, and and uh, and I was thinking to myself, oh well, I know what color I could use for that if I was copying that one. <laughs> and uh, I was playing around today doing another bit of the painting. And uh, I had issues with my printouts, actually, because I had um, on the shoulder area, there's these little pink um, ribbon type things. Right, right, yeah. On my printout, they were very light pink. But then I printed another one out because I wanted to do the higher bit. And that bit was really red. And I was like, what's going on? That should be the same color as that. But it was printed out different. <laughs> Well, so I had yeah. to sort of modify as I was doing it. It was crazy. Uh, but yeah, for a future yeah. episode, you'll see me uh, trying to fix it. Well, the problem <laughs> I've got is I, I've had a few comments saying, oh, your sky is too blue it's uh, and, and, and your trees are too brown and they should be darker. <laughs> um, I'm going to answer that question. That, that, that Most of the prints, most of the photographs you'll see of are the original and it's dark. It's dirty. It's brown. I don't know if it's been restored, but the the prints that I've got and um, the thing is, it's the, the research I've done is when 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 they were looking at it like they do with these the telescopes and X rays and stuff like that um, on the rebate of the frame where the canvas had turned over and it's been protected from the light, it actually shows a true color. This is where they managed to get the colors that he was using, like the Prussian blue and the vermilion and and the, off the paint flakes and stuff. Um, so what I'm trying to do is paint it obviously in the same colors, but it's going to be brighter, it's, it, you know, and, and until I actually age it, which I'm going to, mm -hmm. until I actually age it, it's still going to look a little bit bright. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, I didn't know that, um, Prussian blue, um, was discovered in the 18, late eight, eight, 17th century, early 1800s. And it's a man-made pigment. Mm. So I, I was quite that. surprised. No, I was quite surprised when I read that. And the coat um, that he, he, he's, he's wearing, John Plampin, is like um, a, a, it's, it's like a blue velvet. You know this mm. crushed, have you seen that crushed velvet stuff? Like, yeah. You know the curtains that we used to have? Um, it's like it's it's made of that type of fabric, um, and I've been watching a lot of period dramas as well, so which is good because right. you can see the shoes and stuff like that. So, um, and what he did was he painted it with Prussian blue, and then he layered it with vermilion, and then another thin coat of Prussian blue, and then vermilion, and because it was built up in glazes like that, it actually shows like a purpley tinge to it. Yeah. So I'm in about the sixth layer now at the moment, uh, alternative right. layers, and it's starting to look warm now. It's lo it's looking like velvet. It's looking really nice actually. That's good. I was quite surprised. Mm. You know, and this is another reason why I I like to paint in glazes. Uh, the girl with the pearl earring. You've seen me doing my pet portraits. I do the same thing. Always start with a grisaille and I work outwards. Um, but. Like I said in the beginning, I was asked that question, and that's just the way I paint. Mm. And I find it very relaxing, Jason. Yeah, it, it's good. It's good fun doing glazing because you can. It's kind of like um, using photographic technology on the computer and changing like the tint of a picture. It's kind of like that, isn't it? Except it's, you're doing it manually. You're tinting it always, and uh, yeah. I'm asked, I'm asked, how many layers? It can be literally hundreds of layers, depending on how thin you put them in. And the better effects I get are by thin layers. 
because you get that luminosity coming yeah. through the paint. And as I said, I, I want it to look like oils, mm. you know, um, and it's not an easy task in acrylics to look like oils. No. But you, you can't tell once a painting is done, they can't tell. John Myatt will, will say that because he painted most of his in Dulux household emulsion <laughs> paints. And, and unless they chemically, chemically and analyzed, you, you can't tell. Um, you can't tell whether, whether the oils are acrylics. No, nah, because once it's done and varnished, then you can't really, can you? No. Well, as far as I know, anyway, um, I'd have to like have a copy and the real one next. Oh, I'd like to, to see the original. We're going to London soon, anyway, aren't we? Oh, we've got to. Anyway, it would be really good to see the uh, the real deal. <laughs> uh, and then. Uh, Maybe mine will be better. <laughs> <laughs> we can swap them. <laughs> yeah. We should take ours with us, shouldn't we? Yeah, under the arm. I wonder if they will let us in with ours. <laughs> they might let us in, they might not let us out. <laughs> <laughs> They'll stick a big fake sticker on them and say, you're not taking them back out. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch that, it's the original. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we are. Oh, we're coming up to that magic 30 minutes. I don't know if you want to carry on and, and talk. Um, I'm happy to. So yeah, I, I'm um, in a bit of trouble with my green screen. <laughs> people, think, <laughs> people know I'm not on the beach now, oh, Jess. <laughs> green screen. We're at the seaside. <laughs> <laughs> so any other questions, actually? Was there any more come through? Uh, let me just have a quick look and, uh, and see... Because I know what people are going to ask us pretty soon. They're going to say, why don't you go live, boys? You know? Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, I'll, I'll do you a quick readout. Uh, Teresa Harris says, hilarious. <laughs> Muriel Audrey Everett says, love you both. Was a bit worried about the cat. Ha <laughs> ha. Tell me why dollars. I'm not sure what that means. Did you call the cat dollars or something? I have absolutely no idea what I say half the time, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> it's my age. And there's Willem's question. Uh, Lindy, I really enjoyed this video. You both have a wonderful sense of humour. Uh, I <laughs> I enjoy, enjoy both of your painting videos. Thanks very much. I think your ideas for getting the gallery involved is great. Give the exposure as well as yourselves. It would be good to go to London and see the paintings. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, yeah. And then they go, and, and it's quite a lot, probably too many for me to read. And uh, But what I want to say is to everybody out there, give us some questions. Ask us questions. You know, yeah. if, you want to, if, if you want help, we can't, we, we can only surmise what you're going to ask, but just drop us a line, you know, on, on the old uh, emails or, you know, even on the comments, just drop us the, the, the questions and then we are, we're happy to answer them. And, um, Give us some ideas where you would like us to be next time. <laughs> You're yeah. up to Jason. We'll be on the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flying through the galaxies, looking at all the different pictures. <laughs> well, we have actually got another, we've actually got another collaboration that, that has been finished between us, painting a portrait. Yeah. Those down, and yours was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I it was it was it was so good I was wetting myself. Yeah. And I think that was when I when you first mentioned that to me and I thought oh god you know <laughs> how is this going to work out but I got to be honest with you Jace I think we both done well there. Yeah. And I can't yeah. wait to show the fans this. Yeah. We need to release them soon. Yeah, I think it's fantastic because we are working really well together. But I have got another collaboration for you because Doctor Who is about ready to regenerate. Ah. And um, I thought it would be a nice um, when we're ready. Um, do you like Doctor Who? Uh, yeah, I've watched a few. I'm, I'm not up to date now. It would be, I... my challenge would be is to paint your favourite Doctor Who portrait. Oh, okay. Because I quite like it. I, I'm, I'm into portraits at the moment. Um, yeah. You, you again started me on that. With that. <laughs> with, 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 it you was with, with your... With your I'll paint the top, you paint the bottom, and I'm thinking, yeah. oh, I don't really like portraits, but yeah, you 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 were you were definitely influencing me, <laughs> which is good because it pushes the boundaries. So many people just stick to landscapes or 
you know, trees or birds or butterflies, whatever they decide to paint, but they don't push themselves. Or flowers, like in my studio. <laughs> oh, flowers in like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you be careful of that coconut, doesn't it? You're on the air, I can see it blowing in the wind, but I... <laughs> Did you see that, that, see that bloke go past on the jet ski just now? I thought he was going to fall in. <laughs> Okay. Uh, right. So, yeah, that's something we could do. If Because um, I did do um, a Doctor Who painting. I don't know if you've seen that one. I have, yeah. I, yeah, I, it's I'm... pretty good. Yeah, and um, I thought I might do another one because I know he's going to regenerate. Uh, that'll most probably be Christmas time. Um, so, do you want, are we doing it half and half? or? <laughs> no, we'll just do our favourite Doctor Who portrait, I think. You, know? you do one side, I do the other. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be that would be weird wouldn't it yeah you do your favorite this side i do my favorite this side <laughs> we'll have to talk about that that sounds interesting <laughs> we could call it regeneration couldn't we just as he's turning yeah. into another doctor uh, but why if we both like the same doctor who it'd be the same person <laughs> <laughs> that would be really weird because <laughs> I tell you what, you what it what you did on my half a portrait matched it up really well. That was a bit scary when I took it off. <laughs> I know, I seen your reaction. I thought he's 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 a bit shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I was very shocked. Yeah. I worked yeah. hard on that, I gotta be honest with you. I d I did I did you work was... hard. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that immensely. I did get <laughs> I did get his one eye a little bit wonky, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, he had wind. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to show the public. We'll have to show our subscribers that pretty soon, I reckon. Yeah, we need to get them released. Yeah. So it's just turning into a Jason and Clive state uh, <laughs> of the YouTube channel now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll have to share the revenue with two pence each this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> So are you ready to wrap this up then? Shall we call this one quits today? Okay, we'll call this one quits. Right, then... So I I just want to say to everybody, please go along and check Jason's channel out there and uh, always sit back and relax and have a look at his work and sponsor him on Patreon as well. Yeah. Have you got a Facebook page, Jace? Yeah, I have. And if you've got any questions, you can ask them uh, on my Facebook because uh, I answer all the messages. Brilliant stuff. And um don't know if you're on Twitter, but uh, there's a Twitter link there as well. But um, I'm sure Jason will uh, uh, let you know. Are you, are you on Twitter? Uh, I'd never use it. <laughs> no. So he's not on Twitter, so don't worry about that. But <laughs> sit back, having a look, Jason. And I like, don't forget about his, his T-shirts. Having a look. Don't forget about his T-shirts and mugs on Society6. Yes, pop along there. And if you are <clears throat> interested in that, again... Pop along to my little Society Six website where I have got T-shirts as well and oh, mugs, and well, and, and 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 where am I? There we are. And Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, you can get feeds and things and wonderful stuff. Just pop along and have a look. Facebook and Twitter, Clay Five Art, um, and that's it. I've got three groups. So if you wanna, and Jason's a member, and I try to ignore him as much as possible, <laughs> <laughs> but. If so, it's been a fantastic uh, actually chatting to you, Jason, on this wonderful beach here, yeah. and um, it's been a lovely sunny day. Yeah, I've topped up my tan a bit now. I look, I've got a bit of colour. Sometimes I'm pale, and uh, and now I can go out, show off my tan. Maybe I'll go to the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> any questions? Pop along to Jason's channel, pop along to his Facebook page, pop along to my Facebook page, pop along to my channel. Yeah. Um, all the links are below. Yeah. Any questions for us, put them in the comments. Questions. Um, questions. Where would you like us to be next time? What yeah. problems are you have in? Yeah. How would you like us to help you? Anything like that. And subscribe to the channels. That's important yeah. as well. So um, I'll be continuing with the diary um, sessions. Uh, with uh, Thomas Gainsborough and uh, Susanna with the Rubens and they're going on for a while and there is another collaboration that we'll discuss about putting out with the um, half a portrait yeah. <laughs> they're so much fun I hope you guys enjoy them so it's goodbye for me and uh, it's goodbye from me as well so okay. thanks for watching is it it?
Tati, bye. <laughs> <laughs>